This is Dos Sands from No Finish Sports Media. I'm here with Michael Cobato. Michael, congratulations on getting your first win on Canadian soil. How does that make you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, <laughs> so, did you feel like this was a better performance than your Jorge Diaz fight? Yeah, definitely. Um, I felt like the Jorge Diaz, uh, there were spots and moments that I was uh, just a little bit more gun-shy. And, uh, and especially this fight, too. I was, I was, I was a little gun-shy, too. But um, I was able to last more more rounds. And um, I thought I would... I would uh, I just trusted my conditioning. Like Sal said, like I, I put in the work and everything, so I just had to trust my conditioning. And I, I, I fought well for, for six rounds, and I trusted. You got hit with a few headbutts, am I mistaken? Yeah, a lot of headbutts and elbows. Like you, The guy was coming in with his head, and um, yeah, I think he cut me up in my eye a little bit. And yeah, just a lot of like elbows and headbutts. Were you ever hurt in that fight? Um, I can't lie. In the first round, he caught me with a right hand. It kind of woke me up. I wasn't like like wobbled or anything but kind of dazed you know like it caught me right in the chin but it, i don't know it's, it, it's those moments that make you or break you that you make a decision in your head to whether to bite down or just let let, let them you know bully you was there ever a point where you felt you know what you got him hurt maybe i can close the show here um yeah with the body shot but i didn't follow up you know like that, that, that's what Saul said you know i had to sometimes bite down and just you know work the body and and just yeah just bite down but there's a moment that i just i throw the body shot i see him hurt and then i just kind of like admire my shots you know I just, it's something i gotta work on in the gym and uh, i just talked about it with coach style the jorge diaz rematch do you feel good about this fight to pursue another fight like that again um it, it, it depends on what my managers say whatever they have in front of me i'm gonna fight you know i didn't i never turned down a fight so whatever they have in front of me if it's jorge diaz or it's another dude let's run it back and uh you know height will probably always be a factor uh when you're fighting most guys are a little bit taller than you yeah. so you know like what adjustments do you need to make in order to be very efficient in there um to be honest i'm just gonna be a little bit more comfortable because i'm not i'm not really that comfortable t fighting like taller guys like that they're so rangy and like i have to like use my head movement a lot more use my fakes but now i see what adjustments i had to do in the, in the ring in order to to catch guys like these okay well once again, congratulations on the win. I'm proud of you, and, you know, I hope to see you soon. October 2nd, and I think December there's another fight, so hopefully you're on one of those, all right? Sure, yeah, all right, sure. well done. No finish. <laughs>